Monday night, Lauren is working from home, and we'll be hearing from her a little bit later in this newscast. Well, as we've been told, some of the best ways to fight COVID-19, wear a mask, keep your distance, but what if you'd like to do more? Well, a global study for a vaccine is taking place here in the islands now, and it's looking for volunteers. Sam Spangler reports in a story that's new at 10. Clinical trials for Pfizer and BioNTech's vaccine have shown some success so far. Now, trials are now in their third phase, and more than 12,000 people have signed up worldwide. This mRNA vaccine is designed to teach your immune system how to produce antibodies that target COVID-19. Response actually from, that's been shown in the prior trials done with this vaccine have shown as much as a four times uh, increase as opposed to people who have, have actually been exposed to the virus. It goes after the signature spike proteins of the virus. Everybody's seen the picture of the, uh, of the virus, those little those spikes on the end there uh, to try to teach your immune system to recognize that and, and uh, basically disable it. This is all done without the virus being introduced into your system. Ruhak says this vaccine can't infect you with COVID-19. He has that so far side effects have been minimal. Less than 20% say they experience soreness or a slight fever. After taking their first dose last week, Hawaii residents Ryan Ozawa and his daughter Kate haven't experienced any side effects. So they gave us an app. Uh, you log on to it every single week. Uh, it gives you a list of symptoms of COVID and they ask, do you have any of them? And if you say no, they basically say, okay, fine. Have a good day. See next you next week. week. Moving forward, they'll be checked for antibody levels once every six months for two years. Researchers and participants are both blind to the random half of participants that are given a placebo. There's always the fear that they're rushing faster than they should, but I have a great deal of trust in the double blind process and I know they're going to do a good job. For Kate, it's a safer chance to actively fight against COVID-19. I personally am really, really happy that I can finally do something after sitting here in my house for months. I'm, I'm glad I can do something to help. About 80 people per week are enrolling here in Hawaii. If you'd like more information as well as a link to sign up yourself, you can head over to our website, khon2.com. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.